Good morning everybody, how are we all doing? It is... Oh dear, what day are we on? Brain fog. It is... <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't think. Thursday. Um, yeah, it's Thursday today. And I'm just sat at my packed up What's It Magic waiting to go into my... Psy, psyche, what just psycho psychiatrist appointment? Sorry about my speech today, it's real, it is bad. I've just had an issue in my chemist when I was trying to give my details to get my prescription and I couldn't speak. My brain went funny and I, I couldn't speak. Anyhow, I've got it now, so that's the main thing, isn't it? But I've just been feeling a bit, little bit down for the past three days. Um, I'm not going to get bore you with all that, you know what I mean? But the real and one of it is down to. What's the There's a lot of people walking past looking at me like, what's she doing? Um, what, one of my cats has gone missing and I haven't been home three days and it's not like him and I'm getting that gut feeling. Yeah. And I can't. Whew. <laughs> if you've been watching my channel for a while and my YouTube shorts, you will know that my animals mean a hell of a lot to me and they're like my little furry best friends, they're like my babies really. And if you're a fellow animal lover like myself, you'll understand when you lose a cat or dog or mice or whatever animals you have, he hits you and... About a year or two ago, I lost my first cat, Biscuit, who was ginger and white. I'm sorry, I'm trying to stop from getting upset. Um, November just gone, I lost Alfie, my big ginger cat, and now Ronnie's gone missing. And he's nowhere to be seen. I'm hoping when I come home from this appointment that he's probably sat at the doorstep, but yesterday, the day before... I've been constantly going to my front door that's, and I've just been exhausted, exhausted, exhausted too. And not your last night, what day are we on? Tuesday evening, I let Rainer out, the big Belgian Malawa cross German Shepherd, and Tom's dog, my son's dog. And she pulled me that hard through the gate that my hand got stuck. And... When it did, when she pulled me that hard, it, it got stuck, but then it yanked my arm, so that, that bit in my hand, where veins are, it's on my other hand, got dragged right through where the lock bit is, so I've got a mega bruise on that, I'm not showing you it, because I'm holding the phone, and yeah, you don't probably know what you want to really see, stuff like that. So, and my forearm and my arm itself is hurting. I did have a bandage on it yesterday, but I found it was just getting in the way, so I took it off. Um, but yeah, I got a bruise on me, and so I'm just sat here waiting to go in and trying not to get myself upset because I'm, not, I'm sick of going into my appointments and they never see the good side of me. Do you know what I mean? Like every time I come to an appointment. I've either, something's either happened or I'm having a flare up or I'm just depressed and they don't see that hyper side of it and I've had to write it all down again because every time I write something I find it easy to write down even though I can't spell for love the money but they're aware of that but I feel like the dust don't take no notice to read it and then just put it in the bin and I feel like do I get a, a second opinion? Because I, I don't know. I know I need just a, 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 what's that word? Struggling right now. And I do appreciate it. But sometimes I just think they don't give us two oots. Especially the doctors where I am. Anyway, I'm going to catch up with you in a bit because I've been babbling on for five minutes. Hi guys, so it's been a few hours later and I'm back home from my psyche. See my... Psyche, what do you call them? Um, I don't know what you call I can't, it's there in me head, but I can't pronounce it. Psychiatric appointment. Psyche, oh, 
still want to be caught anyway. I've been and I'm back. Um, I honestly wrote loads of information down to give to my CPA and I thought she was going to be there with her, but she wasn't. So I let her read it and she kind of got the, kind of finally got it, understood what I mean. So I feel a bit better on my part, but I did say to them today, I don't think I'm ready to be discharged from my community mental health nurse just yet because I've had a little bit of a blip and I'm struggling a little bit. Even though you probably don't think, you know, because you only see like about five, ten minutes of my day on the video, you don't see the remainder. And with fibro as well and mental health kicked together, I hit I'm a mess. So I've just come in my room just to try and organise it a little bit because obviously it's a diddy little box room and I, at the minute I'm sleeping on the sofa because my back and legs and anyway, don't, I'm not even going to get into it, I have to be staying on the sofa. So, yeah, let's see what I can do in this room because it looks like it's just a dumping ground basically because there's no room for my bed. So I sleep on the sofa um, until, because my bed broke, <laughs> I need a decent mattress, that's the problem. I need a good good mattress that can help um, with my back and a good night's sleep. So any suggestions on what mattress I can get? I'm happy to, yeah, research it a little bit. I don't know, well, what's the point of researching a mattress? What kind of mattress do you use for your fibro, back pain, hip? Because I feel like at the minute I'm laying down and I'm getting pain in my hips. Do you understand what I mean? It's like, if I lay on my right side, my hip hurts. If I lay on my side, I just can't get comfy. I need a good old mattress that I can just chill and relax on. Yeah. Let's get on with this. <laughs> I'm just sorting the room out. I've, to, I've only been doing it for like five, ten minutes and I'm shattered. Uh, but yeah, I'll just sort this hair out. I've got the hair dye there, but I just have no energy to actually do it. Um, I'm just getting rid of all my dosset boxes. Um, some had some medication. Millie, go away! Some had some medication left in it, so I've just been bagging them up and... Yeah, I'll, I'll take them later or I'll take them to the pharmacy. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching and I hope you're all doing fine. Um, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Take care, enjoy the rest of your evening, the, the whatever time it is. I think it's about 3 o'clock, about 3, something like that. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button if you haven't already. And the notification bell. And I'll see you soon.